What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. I recently attended the 2017 USA Volleyball Open National Championships from May 25th to May 29th where I competed in the Men's A Division with my team, The Tall Ones. This video is a vlog about my experience at USAV Nationals. I did not include much footage of our team playing because I plan to upload every single game in separate videos. So make sure that you stay tuned for those videos. I hope you guys enjoy my vlog. Look who tried to join me on the trip to USA Nationals. Trying to sneak into the luggage. So how did you prepare for this tournament, John? Nothing, dude. <laughs> Got my teammates here as Clay, Middle, John, who, sh who should be playing Middle, but he doesn't want to play Middle anymore. <laughs> right side. Justin, Libero. I ate Korean barbecue last night, so I have to eat something light today. And then I'll eat something heavy tonight. But we're at uh, San Francisco. San Francisco International Airport waiting for our flight at uh, 8.30 to go to Minneapolis. Here we are staying at the Hyatt Place. This is one of the tournament hotels. This is our bedroom. We got a really nice sofa and sofa bed area. <laughs> Dang. Got a sliding door for a door. And here are the bedrooms, closet. Two queen beds. We're staying four people per room. We probably could have done <laughs> everybody. Got my first meal here in Minneapolis downtown. I uh, wanted to eat something light because I'm going to be playing tomorrow and save my heavy big meal for tonight. So we found a place called Nof Nof, which is a Mediterranean place. We've got a chicken shawarma bowl with lentil soup and some pita bread. Here's my food preparation for the next day. I just went to a local convenience store and stocked up for tomorrow's uh, food and energy. We'll be playing three games starting at 8 a.m. So here's my breakfast. Got banana and yogurt for my breakfast. And throughout the day I'll be eating peanuts. And I like honey roasted peanuts because they have a little bit of sugar which is important to play throughout the day to have enough energy. And they make you feel full. These are my emergency energy sources. Usually before probably the third game when I'll start to feel a little tired, I'll eat one of these. Uh, this has kind of been my little secret for pre-game if I don't have a lot of time to eat. And right here is just my, my guilty snack that I'll be eating on tonight and hopefully spread it out over the next couple days. I oh, forgot two more items. I usually try to eat uh, a protein bar. These are 20 grams each. 180 calories, so a little bit of sugar as well um, to keep me energized, but also to make sure that my body is always in recovery mode. Here we go. We're about to check in the day before the tournament. Is it right here? I think we're walking right here. Oh, yeah. USA Volleyball. Got the stores on the right. Look at all these courts. This is where we register to check in with our team. This is the Juicy Lucifer. They put cheese inside the meat. The night before a long tournament, I like to roll out and stretch to keep my muscles really loose and also to help recover from a long flight. I'm particularly focusing on rolling out my triceps because I've been getting some elbow tendonitis since I've been playing so much volleyball in the last two weeks trying to prepare for this tournament. I'm also focusing on releasing some tension in my right glute 
because of all the intense jump training I've been doing over the last three months. Here's a little trick that I do. I bring Gatorade powder and a disposable water bottle. And I just fill this up with maybe tap water. And I make my own Gatorade instead of having to carry around multiple bottles of Gatorade. Since you can't carry any liquids on the airplane either. We're well, down to our first day and it's 7 a.m. Our first game's at 8 a.m. We are walking to our court 27. Gonna get a nice little warm-up foam roll and we get ready to go. I have a little secret. There's a hint. I gotta go poo. Which means I'm gonna jump probably one inch higher. Seeing this banner just makes me feel proud to be part of one of the greatest sports organizations in the world, USA Volleyball. I took some photos with some of the fans of my YouTube channel and I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel and just being great fans. Name? Jamie Ferguson. And then where do you play? Uh, Cal. Height? Height 6'4". What position? Uh, right side. Full name? John Huang. Where did you play? Club at UCSC. Uh, height? 6'1 and 3 quarters. Yes. Position? Uh, Oppo slash little bit in the middle. I couldn't do that anymore. Full name? Clayton King Hung Chow. <laughs> height? 6'1". Where did you play? Riverside. And what position you play? Middle. All right. Full name? My name is Mitchell Mercado. Where did you play? Uh, I played. I am from originally Clovis, California. I played at UC Davis. Played club at Central Cal. Uh, I played as a setter. I'm five eight. All right, that's good. Damn. Josh is born the ancients. The volleyball shoe that will never come back. All right, full name. Penwell Josh Swan Barina. Height? Uh, five nine and a half, five ten with shoes. Where'd you play? Uh, in Union City. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Logan, Jim Logan High School, college. I played City College, San Francisco. I played for a nine man team, uh, Pike House Smash in San Francisco. Donnie's team. And where? Uh, what position? Outside, Oppo. Sometimes I play libero. And middles at Open Gym. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, full name. Hello, I'm Eric Wong. Your height? 6'3". <laughs> uh, what position? Play middle. And what, where where did you play? I played at uh, SH Sacred Heart Cathedral Prep and uh, Slash and Volleyball Club. All right, what's your name? full name? My name is Justin Fung. What position? I play libero. Where did you play at? I uh, played high school at Foothill, but not much college. Okay, and how tall are you? I'm 5'6". And how old are you? My name is Donnie Hui. I play outside hitter. I'm 31 years old and I played at San Jose State University. And I'm 5 foot 10. We are playing in the men's A division, which has a total of 60 teams. This is the schedule for the first day and half of the second day, where we played in a six team pool. We are off right now. We won our first game against Team Big Bix all day. And we'll be playing at 10 a.m. A little bit rusty, but working out the kinks. We just finished the first day. We kind of sucked, <laughs> but we're getting better. We went one and two. And the best way to deal with our sorrows is to eat pho and egg rolls. Of course, we found a local Vietnamese restaurant. The pho has arrived. Got my rare steak on the side. Pho is a man's best friend.
day two. Our first game was 8 a.m. and we did much better than yesterday. The last set of yesterday's game, we're finally getting our chemistry. Even though we lost, we lost to a good team in three. So we were feeling pretty good about the, the game this morning. So we actually beat the undefeated team in our pool in two. So hopefully this is a trend that's going to continue. Uh, our next game is at 10, and now we're going to watch some of the open teams play. Got my chicken sandwich, mid-game, mid-game meal. We're playing at two o'clock to try to challenge into gold bracket. All right, we're playing a banana, banana Jenga banana version. We gotta be able to bite off the banana without making it fall apart. Oh! You lose, Jenga. We just beat a pretty good team that have some former Division One players because um, we're old and we tool and we roll shot and we aim for corners. But that was a really good game, but man, they were physically talented, but we were able to squeeze it out at the end. We just finished an amazing game and we beat this really even taller team in three. Um, you couldn't have told by the hitting lines. We were just a really bad hitting lines team. But I can't wait for you guys to see the footage. So now we're definitely in gold bracket. And uh, we're going to play at 7 p.m. tonight. So hopefully we keep this chemistry going, but we're feeling really good. We're just playing really well together. A bunch of guys that want to work hard and play well together. Uh, but this is a, we've already played four games today, best of three. And I'm hungry, so I had to give in. I got chicken tenders and a hot dog and fries. But when you're burning this many calories, you just gotta feed the beast. Nine o'clock, we just finished refing. We lost our last game of the day. It was our fifth game of the day. And we lost, I uh, guess, a good team. So, everyone's icing up. My elbow is uh, getting a little flared up, taking a lot of swings. I and mean, we played five games today. So, we're feeling good. We are six and four, like I said earlier. Got to get some rest and then uh, double elimination tomorrow. So we have one more game tomorrow. If we win, we keep going. If we lose, then we're done. But I think we're pretty happy with how we're playing so far. So, hey, what place did we finish today? Top six. Top six. Top six. Technically, <laughs> technically tied for fifth because there can't be a sixth place. Double elimination gold. But we're officially 
top five yeah, out of 60 teams in gold. We're so. literally the tallest team in this. Yes. <laughs> We're unfair. unfair. You see this name? You see this name? This is the, uh, I think a 65 division. Good man, They're bringing the heat. Ooh, that's a better one move right there. This is what we call the the Chinatown sports bag. The Chinatown Jim Duffel. <laughs> Has a nice flap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tie the straps together. Is it to make it theft proof. It's slightly transparent, so you know exactly what's inside. <laughs> And it gives a little flutter in the wind for some extra tail winds like when you're walking. Less lightens the load a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 10 p.m. dinner. They ordered these gigantic pizzas for a six or five frame. Which quesadilla is it? I got a Monte Cristo, which is a, a ham sandwich on French toast and syrup. This is like mind blowing. I didn't know they made stuff. <laughs> and I got a salad. So I haven't been eating any veggies all day, so I'm probably going to be super constipated. Hey man, I've been pooping a lot. But the good news is, my urine is light yellow, so that means I'm drinking enough water. Getting ready for bed now, and John is still doing work. It's 12.30 and we got to play tomorrow at 8 a.m. again. <coughs> and our last game was at 7, then we had a ref at 8, then we went to eat dinner. And they had the slowest service possible. We thought it would be faster to eat at the hotel, but <laughs> even though we got there faster, it, the took, food took way longer. And it took like 20 minutes just to get our checks. So we stayed up extra late and we we're pretty tired but we still got games tomorrow double elimination and we have a chance to still take the a division so we'll see what happens i'll see you guys tomorrow seven a.m in the morning we're getting ready to leave and this is my secret sauce to volleyball success tap water from the hotel. It has to be from the bathroom faucet. I got my eggs, sausage, and pancakes. And 2% milk. And we got these late risers here. Very wide awake. There's the, the dad of the group. Falls asleep anywhere. Yeah. This is called level two breakfast. You wrap your breakfast sausage in a pancake with syrup and you can make your own piggy in a blanket. One of my favorite breakfast dishes. This is day number four of our trip, but day number three of volleyball, our last day of playing. How are we feeling, guys? Good. I feel like a million and one dollars. <laughs> you guys feel sore? Clay is about to fall asleep all the time. <laughs> Even though he just took a dump. <laughs> Dang. Is that like an Iron Man suit, Josh? Does that feel you got like new gear on every day? Hey, my fans, how you guys doing so far? How's it going? Doing pretty good. I'm ready to play at 8. Oh, yeah, I know. We played at like 8 last night and we're playing at 8 today. We'll be able to support. Okay, thanks. Report number 21. We're playing against a team that we lost to in 3 on the first day, so it should be a good game. We won our revenge today.
number one has tons of energy. This guy does not stop moving. All right, number one is not going to stop moving. He's just going, going non-stop right here. Got to spin the garbage can. Got to move around. They haven't even served yet. He's got to move. He's got to move. Oh, he's pretty still. Oh, no. No, he's got to stand up now. Got to the ground. That's the ball, but I'm moving a lot. Damn, that was the game to play for the semis. We just lost in three to a pretty good team, the team that beat us in two yesterday. And we won the first set, we lost the second one. We had multiple game points to close it out, but we just couldn't. I made a couple dumb mistakes. Uh, we all kind of contributed to losing those game point options. And that was a tough loss. But, I mean, we still went pretty far. My hand's bleeding from all those digs. And uh, it's hard not to regret a loss, but we still played pretty well. Now we got a ref. That's the worst part. We got a ref and think about what just happened. You are a nice little dog. I know, right? Uh oh. We took team photos with some of the other teams in the top six gold bracket. And we just had so much fun playing against these guys because they're all super cool. And we had such a great time playing against great competition. We finished fourth place in the men's A division and we just missed out on meddling. But we're still proud of our performance, especially because we were definitely the shortest team in the A division. So we're walking around for like 10 minutes trying to find food because we're, we're done for the day. And we finally found a a Mexican restaurant. That's why we flew all the way to Minneapolis to eat pho. Oh, what? <laughs> Josh is giving me some tips on vlogging. I'm not, I don't vlog very much. Oh, can't you see my face? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's like half the video. <laughs> I know you guys like my eyes. What eyes? <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Asian, I can do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> salsa a la salsa. They got salsa music playing. And this restaurant has some amazing artwork. And the owner of the restaurant painted some of these. This is awesome, awesome artwork. For the three amigos enchiladas. They got carne asada. Shrimp and chicken. I don't know which one's which, so we're gonna have to do three card Monty and rice and beans. Now that we're done playing, we're just gonna have a good time and watch some volleyball. And I'm all iced up because I'm sore and I gotta make sure that I can still move tomorrow. I don't know what team name this one is. Right there is, I think, in his mid 50s, and he's still playing at a very high level. This is USA Men's Open. That's exactly what I want to be doing at his age. That's baller. What did you do that was so special this tournament? <laughs> Got my butt kicked by Lloyd Ball. And? Okay, I hit one ball up his dome. All right. That video, you're going to see that soon. Ryan's a great player, by the way. Dominated at UOP. <laughs> Back the when there was a team. The shortest and the best middle ever.
It's not a double rainbow, it's a single rainbow, but all of a sudden, the weather in Minneapolis is kind of crazy. Sunny one moment, windy, and then cold, and then hot again, and then now it's raining. And we're about to get some dinner because we're hungry, and then go to the players' party. Not for real players and pimps, but ball players. Yeah, I know you like that, John. <laughs> <laughs> On our way to the, the party, hosted by USA Volleyball. We meet our teammates there. A little bit cleaner than your regular downtown. Today is the last day. It's Monday. We're gonna be flying out tonight, so no more volleyball, which is usually a depressing day. Uh, but we don't fly out later until later tonight. The other half of our team, Mitch, Josh, and Eric, are flying out in a couple hours, so we just woke up to have breakfast with them and send them off, and then we're gonna go watch some volleyball because that's what we love to do. Anything you guys wanna to say to the people watching? Just play volleyball, just have fun. Have fun, have fun. Have fun. Yay. 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 Because Danny. And be short. Yeah, Yes. stay tall. See you guys, I'm sitting your back. Our checkout time is 12, but we asked for an extension. So the rest of us are ready. Right, Justin's got his bags. Clay didn't even, he's standing in another room and he already is readier <laughs> than I'm ready. Let's see what John Huang is doing, who actually travels the most out of all of us. That's him inside. Let's see, let's see what he's packed. So it looks like his suitcase exploded. He might have packed it really tight and then it just happened to burst just now. But I doubt it. John's ready to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My data is bigger than yours. So, so much data on the floor. <laughs> so much data. Lunch time. And we've been eating chicken tenders and burgers for three days and hot dogs. And we've been craving some good old Asian food. If you guys can recognize the team on the other side, that's Reno Envy, who plays in the NCBA League. So we're out here to support them. They're playing in double B. So pretty good ball. Ooh. Number three, solid block. This is the 50s division. And this is our goal to maintain this level by the time we're 50 because this is pretty decent ball here. Look at that. Banging. Going after it. Look at little little trash talking right there. Dude, he's turning down. Here's the 60s division. I think it's Canada, Canada on the left side, and then Brazil on the right side. There we go. Nice dig. Oh. This is the dilemma that all volleyball junkies face at one point of their life. What do you do when you have three very good volleyball games about to happen in the same building? We got the women's FIBA against this other team that's pretty good. I don't know where they're from. And then we have an IREVA PVL team against Ajiva open team and then just around the corner we have men's diva against team pineapple four balls former team i finally had a chance to meet william robbins who's one of the highball hitters for team pineapple he's one of my favorite players to watch because he's jacked hits the crap out of the ball and plays with tons of confidence
He's also a fan of my YouTube channel, which is awesome. Got a double Whopper with cheese, fries, and a medium Coke. I usually drink Diet Coke, but on special occasions, like the last vlog I did from the USA HP Coaching Clinic, <laughs> I drink real Coke. I usually eat pretty clean throughout the week, but on weekends or holidays, I like to enjoy myself a little bit, especially when I'm playing a lot of volleyball and burn all these calories. So, if do not eat this every day. This is just for special occasions. I just came back home from flying in from Minneapolis to SFO and then driving back to uh, Union City where I live. And it's Monday night. Actually, it's technically Tuesday morning, 12.20 a.m. And I have to work tomorrow and wake up at 6.30. Uh, so I'm going to be pretty tired tomorrow. I'm exhausted right now. But it was completely worth it. They only have this tournament once a year and it's really the best volleyball tournament of the year. And I had so much fun playing with my team and watching other people play and, and just being immersed in volleyball. So even though it's going to be tough tomorrow, getting through the day, I'll just be smiling the entire day, just kind of reflecting on all the great memories um, from the weekend. I can't wait to start eating clean again because I ate so much crap this weekend. And I feel kind of sick eating so many burgers and fries and all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to my first meal in the morning, which is usually uh, my bowl of oatmeal and milk. And then eating some fruit and a protein shake. And then eating a salad or a sandwich for lunch. Um, but looking forward to kind of cleansing my body from all that. So I'm going to go inside and take a nice shower. And then go to bed. So... Have a good night, everybody. The ironic part about our team is that our average height is six feet tall or 183 centimeters, which is pretty short for men's volleyball. We were probably the shortest team out of the entire A division, and we were definitely the shortest team in the top 20. We were also the worst hitting lines team out of the entire division, and that's the funniest part. I wished I recorded the hitting lines warm up before each of our games so I can have you guys guess who would have won the game based on what the warm ups look like. Because most of our hitting lines looked like this. with a few bounces here and there. But majority of it looked pretty bad. On the contrary, most of our opponents hitting lines looked like this. goes to show that height is only one of many factors of being a successful volleyball team. We had an incredible experience because we were beating teams that were taller, more athletic, and had higher level collegiate experience than our team did. And that's because our team chemistry, mental toughness, skill, and volleyball IQ allowed us to be successful. So for all of you short, unathletic and inexperienced players out there, you can still be a great player. You just have to work a lot harder and a lot smarter than someone who was born taller, more athletic, and has more experience than you. And if you are tall, naturally athletic, and have a lot of volleyball experience, imagine how amazing you could be if you also worked twice as hard and worked twice as smart. Thanks again to all the fans who said hi I had a great time talking with you guys and hanging out with you guys at USAV Nationals. For those of you who've never attended this tournament, I highly recommend putting a team together because there is a level for everybody. Not only do you get to play great volleyball, 
You get to watch great volleyball and meet amazing volleyball people. That's all for now. Always remember to elevate yourself, and I'll see you guys next time.